Welcome. This video is for dual credit instructors. Today we are walking through your tasks in dualenroll.com that are specific to student registration. So we'll start at ivytech.dualenroll.com. As a dual credit instructor, you will click the use my Ivy login over in the bottom right side of the page to log into dual enroll. If you need to reset your my Ivy password or you're not quite sure about your my Ivy login information, Make sure to do that over at myiv.ivtech.edu. You can use the reset or forgot your password link here in my Ivy to update your Ivy Tech account information. And then you'll use that to log in over here. So this forgot your username and password for dual enroll won't work for you. Make sure you reset that in my Ivy. So you'll use this to log in. Today we're logging in through a dummy account just to check things out. So as an instructor, your primary task in dual enroll that's related to student registration is confirming enrollment in your courses. So when you first log in, you'll likely see some of your ongoing credentialing requirements related to your courses. But if you click on the student tab up in the top menu, then you'll find tasks related to student registration in particular. So this is really critical because the first step in a student registration process is instructor confirmation. So as soon as the student selects a course in dual enroll, it will immediately go to the instructor confirmation step that registration cannot proceed until you as an instructor confirm that the student belongs in your class. So you can see your dashboard will have a variety of information. It'll list all the different steps involved in the student registration, but the ones that you are responsible for will be highlighted here in yellow. So you can see we have some instructor confirmation tasks awaiting approval right now. You do have a few options to filter on this page. You can filter by a specific term, we generally recommend you leave this on all, all active terms. But if you need to, you can narrow it down to the term that you're currently in. And you can also sort by the particular step the registration is on. And I'll show you in a moment where that becomes really helpful. You can also uh, sort this list by the student name. Currently it's sorted alphabetically. You can also choose to sort this by the course. If you'd like to see things uh, sorted one course at a time, it would list those for you here. So you can see those are available to you here. So when you click on this hyperlink step, it will give you the options for you as an instructor. In dual enroll, we are only asking you as an instructor to confirm that the student is currently in your class. We're not asking you to confirm that they meet prerequisites or anything like that. Just does this student physically belong in your class? So if in this case, I see that this student signed up for ADMF 102, but I don't recognize that student Maybe they belong in my ADMF 101 class, but definitely not 102. I have the option simply to choose that this student should not be enrolled in that class. And then I can complete that step. The really handy thing, because you're gonna, during our enrollment period, you'll have a significant amount of tasks to clear. That's when this step option becomes really beneficial. So if you sort by a particular step, so in this case, I'm gonna sort by instructor confirm enrollment in the course, then I have a batch mode available here. So in the status, I can choose step actions and I can choose to complete this in batch mode. This will allow you to much more click quickly move through those tasks. You can see everything is listed in one menu for you here. Generally, it catches about 30 students per page and it will allow you to complete these in batch. So review the student, review the course, Confirm if they actually belong in your class, you can confirm them here, or if they do not belong in that class, you could choose that option. So I could quickly move through here and confirm students. We ask that you only confirm students in your class if you know that they belong in your class. So don't just click the confirm link to clear tasks in here because it will proceed with registrations for students that don't belong in your class. So in this case, I'm gonna choose, this student is not enrolled in ADMF 102 because I don't recognize him, but everybody else, I can go ahead and confirm if I verify that they do actually belong in my class. Again, this allows the registration steps to proceed for the students. So it's really critical that you as an instructor are clearing these on a daily basis, if at all possible. We ask that instructors log into dual enroll on a daily basis. You can use that batch mode to quickly clear those tasks, kind of at a glance, hopefully it will allow you to do that in a fairly timely basis. And then that allows the student registration to proceed through so they can complete any other steps that might be needed. Occasionally, you might see that it defaults back to the status page. You could quickly click over to the student menu again 
and it will bring you right back here. So that's as simple as the instructor confirmation step is. If you choose not to confirm a student in the class, it doesn't immediately end the registration process. What that does is it will send a step back to your high school counselor, and then they will have the responsibility to confirm if that student does belong in the class. So you could see for this particular student, it went back to a high school counselor step, and it asks your high school staff to resolve why that student doesn't belong in that class. So that's the point where your counselor could redirect the student to enroll in a different class if they had chosen something on accident. So that's helpful to know just to make sure that you're not just ending registration, you're just giving the counselor a chance to redirect that as needed. You can see there may be a few other steps available to you here. Again, they'll flag in yellow. In this case, this is a student who has chosen to drop a dual credit class. So there will be a fairly limited drop window for the first couple of weeks of the registration period. Students can choose to drop for dual credit. After that point, they will only have the option to withdraw from the class versus drop. So you may see withdraw tasks popping up on your dashboard after the drop deadline has passed. Up until then, you'll see the drop task available. Again, it's important to clear these out on a timely basis ahead of the drop deadline. When you click on those tasks, you see just a few options. Yes, you're approving the drop. The student should not receive dual credit. If you choose no, I do not approve the drop, the student will remain registered in the class and they will earn dual credit, whatever the grade may be. The side later really just saves that task too for you. If you need to come back to it, if you need to talk to the student first, just to verify kind of what the reasons were for dropping the class, you can do that and you see it just stays on your dashboard. So the drop step is one that you can also complete in batch mode. If you choose to sort by the step, then you'll have the batch mode available there as well. So that will allow you to quickly move through the tasks that you are responsible for on a daily basis and clear those out. That way students can move through the process. The other helpful piece for you in dual enroll is under your status menu, you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can find your class roster report. So this will pull up a roster of students who have completed the registration process through dualenroll.com. It will show you all the students in your class who are completely done with registration. So that's a helpful way to pull that up on a regular basis. You may wanna check in with students that you don't see on the roster report that you know are in your class to make sure that they have processed the steps that they need to process through dualenroll.com. So especially if students have questions, if they are fully registered, you could quickly pull up a roster report and see at a glance where all that information is. So again, it's super important for you as an instructor to be clearing tasks on a daily basis, if at all possible, but hopefully some of those tools will make it convenient for you to do so.